Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. We'll talk later. Okay. More water. More food. Okay. Who keeps bl blueberries in a wardrobe? You, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? Okay. I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive... ...hard to compare to anything. Oh... Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. <laughs> right on. And here comes the first sex card. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Hmm. 
The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? Let's go then. We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on then. Rest in the peace. The yo. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal climate. Then I'll climate. head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandits' trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. Oof. See you, Triss. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Yummy. Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Run! Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm!
Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I save her myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Okay, I'll just save the game and see you in the next part. As I promised, I finished the prologue. So, I'll see you in the next part.